the coast of northern Brazil. It's dotted with villages completely dependent on the sea for their livelihood. The fish catch has been in sharp decline, according to local fishermen, due not just to taking too much, but taking out a key part of the ecology, seaweed called Brasilaria birdii. Much sought after by the food and cosmetics industries, the beds of the precious seaweed all but disappeared. The knock-on effect was to contribute to the crash in the fish stocks, leading to a shortage of food and income, a double whammy for the fishing community. In the nick of time, two dozen families in Flecheras, in northeastern Brazil, formed a cooperative to save the seaweed. Pedro Edvan is the chairman of the Flecheras Fishing and Seaweed Association. He helped to mobilise the community into high-value seaweed production and a new way of thinking about their relationship with the sea. We had many difficulties to really get our production going with this new concept of cultivation in the sea. Because at the end of the day, we are traditional fishermen. How many kilos did you wash and weigh this week? 75 kilos and they're ready to send off to Sao Paulo. Seaweed is harvested from these frail two-man fishing boats. The best grounds are up to five kilometers out, where sudden Atlantic squalls can swallow up these fragile vessels. We're reaching the area where we cultivate the seaweed. It's good all around here for growing it. Once on site, the sails are wrapped up and seaweed collection begins. The seaweed is no longer stripped directly from the rocks, but from these ropes, seeded with young plants two months earlier. Here's a line with seaweed that's over 60 days old, and it's mature and is ready for collection. We have to be careful. We have to keep cleaning the line because other species of seaweed cling to it and fight for space. We use the plastic bottles to suspend the lines so we don't lose them in the sea. Around 20 boats operate from the beach. Eridan Vicente and Raimundo Nunez have seen many tragedies in their time as fishermen. Now, at this time of the year, the wind is really strong and it's really dangerous for the fishermen, and they lose their lives because of it. With over 25 kilos on board, it's time to go back. Paddling to catch the surf helps to ease the return trip. At least getting back is peaceful. The market for dried seaweed is worth billions annually, and Brazil currently imports 80% of its needs. In the past, each fisherman put his seaweed out on the beach to dry, but pests and contamination lowered its commercial value. Seaweed was always collected around here by the fishing community, but it wasn't worth much because it was collected on the foreshore and it sold for 50 cents a kilo. The association has installed a solar-powered washing and drying facility. The fishermen get over two US dollars fifty per kilo now. Jorg Dieter Anhalt is from the development agency EDA, the Institute for Sustainable and Renewable Energy Development. 
It supplied the solar technology to the fishermen to improve the quality and value of the seaweed in a competitive market. Seaweed is used in many, many industries. Milk products like yogurt have seaweed in there, that it's creamy. When you go to cosmetics industry, all the creams have seaweed in there. Five years ago, they got only 10 cents per kilo. Then they advanced a little bit in drying, then they got 50 cents. And now with this new solar dryer and the new processing unit, they get 10 times more and it's growing. Akila Shirao and Umberto Liete helped to install the equipment for the fishermen. The beach has fresh water just five meters below the sand, perfect for washing the seaweed. And the most sunshine in Brazil all year round. When harnessed, these natural resources are a real bonus for the community. This is a solar panel which has made it possible to pump the fresh water for the people here to wash their seaweed. So we've harnessed the sun to provide the water. Here we have the well. The pump is right in there, a few meters down, and it pumps the water to the tank up above, where it's carried by gravity to where the seaweed is washed. Here we have the solar dryer. This equipment has the function of providing a better drying process. This solar panel powers these fans which regulate the temperature so it's never too hot. It doesn't burn the seaweed and improves the quality. The improvements have made seaweed harvesting a profitable business for the community. Equipment was around 5,000 US dollars and supplied by EDA. Now it's a self-sustaining industry. There exists a word in Brazil uh, I have to see it to believe it. And we found out, yes, it's really feasible and the people are happy with it. The entrepreneurial fishing families of Flecheras are adding more value to their crop by making seaweed products themselves, cutting out the middleman. Here in this shop we work with natural materials. We have seaweed, which is our main material, and then seashells, which we use for packaging. And you can use it as a soap dish in your bathroom. There's our soap. Here we have seaweed shampoo. It's very good for your hair. Here we have a wonderful thing which is the cellulite gel. All the women use this and think it's great. The craft workshop provides further employment opportunities for the families. Ten people work here in the craft group. There are people who make lampshades and notebooks. Marta runs a small cafe for tourists, promoting the healthy qualities of seaweed in a variety of dishes. As propriedades da alga são carboidratos. Seaweeds contain carbohydrates and proteins. They have a lot of fiber and are very good for your intestines. They also contain a lot of iodine and they are very rich in all these things. Not content with their own success, the fishing families of Flecheras hope to see their methods adopted all along the coast. Today we're trying with some other fishermen to get together and through the cultivation of seaweed form a chain of production all along the shores of Ceará. If we won the prize, 
uh, we go to expand this processing center here because the demand is growing so it needs another solar dryer it needs perhaps other processing unit here that's one part and the other part is to expand this idea in another village and to install another processing center here that the fishermen here train those people in the same way so that's our aim on world challenge 2007 next time in nepal transforming tin cans is transforming the lives of the disabled and in the andes a surprising edible inca treasure is being rediscovered by modern day peruvians and don't forget you can log on to www.theworldchallenge.co.uk that's www.theworldchallenge.co.uk where you can find details of all the World Challenge projects and where you can vote for your favourite project in World Challenge 2007.